Hey, hey, welcome to Late Night with Danger Dan. And you're here watching another episode of Dare Danger Dan, and that's me. And we got some dares tonight, kiddos. We got Daryl Monty wants to see an old classic late night movie host, uh, Jay Leno, but as a xenomorph, all right? Dan Phillips wanted to see Among Us, uh, that popular online game that everybody seems to be playing these days. Uh, he wants to see that somehow factored in. And uh, Safety Steph, my wife actually, dared me to draw Baby Yoda in an adult trench coat smoking a cigar. So I'm gonna smash those together. We're gonna have ourselves a little late night talk show. We have a great show for you tonight. Everyone, big round of applause. All right, so Jay Leno as a xenomorph. This is gonna be kind of fun because Jay Leno has one of the biggest chins I've ever seen in my entire life. So I didn't get far enough into it to know this, but do they tell you at the start of the game if you are the imposter? Right. Okay. Um, I was like, it seems like a cool game. <laughs> I didn't get into it. Uh, I'm not really much of like a cooperative, cooperative gamer. I, I'm more like, just play like Super Nintendo games by myself, that's about it. Oh yeah, so uh, today's dare is actually, uh, it's a late night talk show starring uh, Jay Leno Xenomorph, or Xeno Leno, as we like to call him. Uh, and his special guests tonight are Baby Yoda in a, in an adult trench coat, smoking a cigar. And then, uh, well, we got uh, the guys from uh, Among Us are here also. Um, we got Zeno Leno is interviewing um, the imposter, actually. He's such a popular cultural icon at this point. All right, so anyone out there watching right now, uh, in late night talk shows, there's always a cityscape in like the picture window behind uh, the talk show. So what I'm asking you guys out there watching is to dare me to draw something sci-fi related as the background, some sort of sci-fi environment. Um, it could be anything you can think of as long as I can think of it or just look it up real quick. So my wife really wanted to see Baby Yoda but with like an adult body. So I gave him the old George Burns treatment over here. Uh, I know, I get it, it's not Baby Yoda, it's the child, okay? What, in, in The Mandalorian, it's not Yoda as a baby, it's just a, another member of Yoda's species as a baby. Because if you think about the timeline, so when uh, The Mandalorian first came out, me and my wife were like, we gotta watch it. It seems like really great, heard it was great. We got Disney Plus. And immediately, I think everybody got Disney Plus at the same time because that <laughs> that app just crashed over and over again. We, it took us like two hours to watch any single episode of uh, The Mandalorian because of how much it crashed. But either way, it was good enough to like keep trying to watch it. Uh, so around that time was uh, it was it was before Christmas. Everybody wanted a, a Baby Yoda toy, and you couldn't get them. They didn't even make them yet. And uh, I'm pretty savvy with like making whatever, so I actually made a Baby Yoda doll from scratch. We still have it. Came out pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh, Jay Leno. Yeah, Jay Leno. Jay Leno. Hey, I'm Jay Leno. Hey. <laughs> that guy has the biggest chin I've ever seen. It's bigger than I than I like. I knew it was big, but I was I was looking up some. Uh, Jay Leno stuff last night, trying to get my mind ready and figure out how I'm gonna combine Xenomorph with Jay Leno. And he, oh, I'm trying to remember what large-headed celebrity Jay Leno was sitting next to, and literally looked like they had a tiny head. What was it? You can't ruin it. The whole point of this is, the whole point of this is the live dares. That's why we're live streaming right now. Smash Bash, I am here to entertain you, and I am here to interact with you. If I wanted simply to only entertain you and not interact with you, I wouldn't be doing a live stream. So yeah, you cannot ruin this. Uh, only I can ruin it because I'm the one drawing it. So if you dare me to draw something and I can't draw it, guess what, buddy? You got like 10 points on your side because you just stumped me. So go ahead and dare. You can't ruin it. I'll put whatever you want up there unless I really don't like it, in which case I guess I'll break your heart. All right, if that's the best we can do, I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna do something sci-fi. Thanks for the dare.
Oh yeah, Alien Alien 1 and 2 are the best, definitely. There is no Alien 2. Actually, there is no Alien 2. Well, there's a second one, and it's called Aliens, but... <laughs> when you say Aliens, and you say Alien, I don't know, it's just, it's such a, like a... It's, it's not like a... For such a wonderful movie, it has such like a lame title. Like they really could have done more of that. But I, I believe in the, I believe in aliens. You couldn't, you couldn't pay me enough to pretend that I believed in ghosts. If there were ghosts, we'd be up to our eyebrows in ghosts every day. We'd actually need Ghostbusters if ghosts existed on any level at all. It would be, it would be a real problem by now, I'd think. I believe a lot of things, but I don't believe that there's an actual Middle Earth. I think maybe there's like some secret world under the crust, but I don't think it's uh, filled with hobbits and wizards since. You guys still believe there's an Earth? Damn it, you always one up somebody. Makes more sense than Flat Earth, that's for sure. Tube Earth makes more sense than Flat Earth, ladies and gentlemen, sci-fi. All right, so uh, growing up, I, I, I was given two choices, uh, David Letterman or Jay Leno. Uh, David Letterman came first, Jay Leno, uh, was passed the keys to the um, Tonight Show by uh, what's his name? Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson passed the keys over to Jay Leno for the Tonight Show. So I guess in a way, I did also grow up with Johnny Carson. So in a way, I, I guess I always paid more attention to Jay Leno, maybe because of his gigantic chin. Um, and then Jay Leno went ahead and passed the keys on to Conan O'Brien. And honestly, I'd say Conan's probably my favorite one. And uh, who's the new one? Jimmy Fallon is now the one doing The Tonight Show. So I kind of like the lineage. Uh, Jimmy Fallon's definitely not my favorite. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Late Night with Danger Dan, okay? And we had a really cool set of dares tonight. We had um, Daryl Monty wanted to see a Jay Leno Xenomorph, which we're calling uh, Xeno Leno. Uh, with a late night talk show. Uh, Safety Steph wanted to see Baby Yoda with an adult trench coat smoking a cigar, so we gave it to her. And uh, Dan Phillips wanted to see the cast of Among Us, that popular online game everyone seems to be talking about, uh, as also a special guest on this talk show. Uh, our live dare, we had uh, Smash Bash Crash Slash, wanted to see something sci-fi as the background to the talk show. So we gave him the Starship Enterprise flying by the planet something or other, all right? In the galaxy of who knows. And anyway, I want to thank everybody for joining us on this uh, Tube Earth Theory. And I will see you guys on the hollow moon uh, next year's Festivus, okay? So until then, send in your dares, all right? Because this show can't go on without it. And uh, stay sci-fi, my friends. Boo!